Being a woman of color from Chicago, attending a predominantly white institution in rural Pennsylvania can be challenging to fit in and carve a space to belong. I'm a quirky, creative, and stylish young black woman, so I stand out on my campus, and that's created a lot of unseen pressure. Some days I can go on with my day and walk in campus and not notice it. Then on other days, I'm continually reminded of the differences in myself and white contemporaries. The lack of awareness and sometimes unwillingness to learn about people of color created a hostile environment. And this hostility coupled with a series of events caused me to feel as if I was considered less than my white peers. I coped by using the experiences to propel my activism and began challenging administration to address issues of race and inequity on campus. This compelled me to begin speaking openly about yeah, yeah. improvements concerning yeah, race yeah, on campus yeah, yeah. and led me to yeah, form a group yeah, called yeah, yeah. the Human Rights Coalition, yeah, yeah. which is powered by students yeah, yeah. of all yeah. races who have concerns about the culture on campus. As a group, we created a list of demands that included an increase in hiring professors of color, an increase in education for situations of sexual assault and harassment, and funding for scholarships for minorities and LBGTQA plus groups. Through activism, I found a way to use my negative experiences as a catalyst to advocate for those in my community. I learned that challenging leaders and those in power can certainly make a difference. This is how I carved a space for me to belong.